Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Nat Fashion Hub. It's always good to be here knowing that you are out there and um, you are learning. If you are not subscribed to this channel, if you want to subscribe to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you will be notified. My videos are in series. If you don't subscribe or turn the notification bell on, you won't know when I drop a second, third part of a video I've made before. Like this video is the part two of how to cut a vintage shirt. The part one we did the cutting, this part two we are going to sew it. So today we are going to sew our vintage shirt. So if you didn't watch the part one, please I'll suggest you watch it so that you understand much more better and you follow us. Like I said, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be notified whenever I drop my videos. Thank you. Let's start the class. Okay, so to sew our vintage shirt, we have to cut the, the lapel for the back. So this material is also folded into two. So this is the back piece. This is the back piece. This lapel for the back. It can be as deep as this is eight inches. See? It can be as deep as eight inches is okay. That is plus your hem and allowance. 8 inches is okay. So this is 8 inches. So I think that's okay. So you keep the you don't know what back lapel is when we're using it, you see. So you keep your back piece on it on this fabric to get your back lapel. And you remove this shape exactly. See that? So the next thing we are going to do is to put to apply gum. This is our front piece. This is our front piece. So this front half that's left and right. So if we open our shirt. Before you open, don't forget to make a notch here. Make a notch here. Also make a notch here. So as to know center. So if we open this shirt, you see we have the so shirt now. So we have the left side, this is the right hand side of the shirt. So what we will do is to simply apply simply apply suit gum to this area. You see? Just around here. And here just apply suit gum around this area. Same thing with this other side, there's two sides. Let's just apply the gum from here to here. Alright? You apply gum here to here. This area here is some, um, it's like, um, let's check how many inches. The gum should be just six inches. You see, this is our center. Here to here, three inches. Here to here, three inches. That is six inches. So I'm putting the gum. Of six inches from up here to down on both sides of the front piece so we apply our gum now so this is our sweet gum so it should be six inches wide Alright, so when we finish applying gum, mind you, I say you should make a notch. We made a notch where we folded our fabric. This was a notch. Down here, we also made a notch. This is it right here. So, we're going to 
press this back to get that line we folded it initially using this uh, notch we made so for shirt whether vintage or packet shirt this is very important this also we folded initially when we we're cutting folded this in by this remember fold it in by five inches right so we're going to push it out to four and a half we're going to push push half inch out i believe we understand i'm going to push it out by half inch to become four and a half from the beginning to the end so these are four and a half this is this is four and a half it has to be four and a half from the beginning to the end so the easiest way to just turn it from the good side gauging from this line that we folded initially bring it out bring the inside part out by just half an inch this is to provide button allowance because the shirt is going to overlap the two front pieces that are going to overlap each other so if you don't add this half inch if you don't pull out this half inch allowance when you are done sewing the front piece will be smaller than the back piece so you see it is now four and a half look at it four and a half it's now four and a half it's now four and a half instead of five inches so we'll do the same thing with the other the second piece front piece So you see, this is the inside of your front piece. This is the front piece of your shirt. This is the inside. It's going to look inside. Now, don't forget, because we pulled the inside part outside by half an inch. See what it has cost. It has done here. Remember, it was it was this way. It was like this. We now brought out the inside part half into the front thereby giving us this so we are going to trim this off please follow carefully i'm going to trim it off and this is on both sides on both sides we trim that off trim it off now we'll make a new notch here this side will still do the same thing Trim it off. See? Make sure your work. Make sure your work is very neat. You make a new notch here. So now we've got in our vintage shirt. This is it. We are almost there. Now what is remaining is for us to go to the machine and join our shirt. So follow me to the machine. Thank you. Alright, so for us to join our shirt, we will join. Um, so when joining our vintage shirt, you see this is the back side, this is the right front piece. I am not going to sew together with this. I'll open it like this and sew only this part. See? Same thing with this side. I'm not joining together with this. Open it flat like this. And I'll join this to this. Very simple and straightforward.
the next thing to do is to bring my back like here. Got it here. Got it here. So you're going to keep here. We have shown before. This is our shirt already. You can see. I've joined the shirt already. So I'm going to bring this back like that. Still on the back side. I'll keep here. You see? The back side. Here. The shirt was drawn on the good side, the good and the good side, the good front, the good back. So keep this here. That is so. Now I'm matching and covering this line. See, so that this line will not show. Same thing with this side. Just finish matching. We we'll now turn it to the back. See, we we'll turn it to the back and match it on top of the back piece. Make sure it's very, very flat. See, we're matching it on top of the back. quite simple and straightforward so our vintage shirt is almost ready what we do now is to trim our arm is to adjust check our arm so that we will fix it and get done with our shirt so let's press it to get it flat i think this is quite simple and like i said before if you have not subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button look below below your screen there below the video that is playing there's a subscribe button there hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on because if you don't do that you would not know when i drop a new video and you will be missing out so please hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on subscribe so that you will not miss out on any of my videos So this is a shirt. This is our shirt. This is our sleeves that we are going to fix to our shirt. Remember? Right, so 
this is our arm remember we said the allowance here to here must be the same thing with here to here you see so here remember our target was nine three quarters so we still have our nine three quarter so remember our shoulder is 17 so let's check this is the center of the shirt so from here to here should be giving you this is eight and a half is 17 plus half inch allowance with trimming at nine and also very importantly when you are trimming a shirt or a vintage shirt the the front piece is half inch deeper than the back piece at this point here that's why you see what i'm trimming here now do I trim it very important do the same to this side of the arm a shoulder so it is 17 that is eight and a half plus seven inch allowance making nine so this is nine so we'll do the same deeper than the back and we are done with that So for the neck of our shirt, we said that the neck is 16. We must make sure that the shirts, the two parts are aligned together to avoid one piece being bigger, one part of the shirt being bigger than the other. eight and a half now see so we've got now eight and a half so we can go ahead to cut the neck so that once we get to the machine we just finish everything once and for all so since our neck is 17 our collar is going to be having a, a size of 15 in length so let's cut it our collar is going to have a size of 15 in length so first of all we fold this fabric into four you fold like this the first time then we fold this way the second time Or you can cut one and then keep it and then cut the second one anyhow you do it there's no hard and fast rule to it so we folded our fabric so we folded our fabric into four But let's press it okay so we said the length of our collar is going to be 15 15 divided by 2 that will give you seven and a half this is seven and a half plus half inch on allowance that becomes eight so this is eight the wideness of the collar at this point is one and a half 
or we use two that is half inch allowance for sewing so now watch this very very well we use two here but at the center here we'll be using three and a half difference of one and a half so this is three and a half so watch i'm going to cut this simple as this simple as that so I'll cut it out see this is our neck and we'll apply suit gun to this both sides Place to our neck. Apply suit gun to the neck we have cut. Alright, so this is how it looks like. So when you are done putting your gun, you fold it back, press it. let's go over to the machine let's finish it fix the sleeves so we'll hem our sleeves remember we folded it inside you give an allowance for it to be folded inside you fold your sleeve inside then you will hem it So, when fixing your sleeve, remember you made a notch here. So it is this notch to this notch. So, after fixing our hands and weaving our shirt, we now go straight into joining. Remember, we said our sleeve round is 12. So six, we give it twelve, and we say that our sewing allowance here is three quarter. So we use three quarter for that. So check your six inches. Okay, six inches.
so we are done with our shirt what is remaining now is for us to fix the neck of this shirt so this is our neck so we we'll turn this in and sew it on half inch here Same thing with this side. So and a half inch. Yeah. Mark the center of this neck, very important is the center. Your neck here as well, you mark the center here. See? The center. Start sewing from the center here, this notch to this notch. Go to the second side again. our neck is to fold this inside see? we are following and we sew from here
see what I did here at this point I fold this just half inch in One side of the neck, then we just see now. See, you see, so let's finish that side as well. So, same thing, we come to this side, still fold it. This notch here is the notch, fold it inside like this, and so Don't forget, I said when you get here, you fold this half inch, you see, fold it half inch in. Second side of her neck. See? So, what is something we'll do? We'll weave this. We use weaving machine to weave this place, this line. See? From here to, from here to here, we we'll weave it neatly. We weave it twice, we weave and double. We we'll weave it and we we'll double the weaving twice so that it will be very neat. After weaving it neatly, So you have weaved it neatly. Now turn it. See? Same thing with this side. You know, so. So here, you see. Make sure your fabric down is not folded. Very flat. So after we are done with our neck, the only thing remaining is for us to hem our shirt, to hem it down, the edge, we have weaved it properly. Now to hem it, remember this is like this, remember, should remember, so we will turn it inside. See, we'll match it with on the allowance. You want 
Actually, no, half inch. same the other side let's also see our shirt it's inward like this with a notch here it's inward like this so we'll open it and also match it half inch Next, turn this. Can you see this? See this? And the same thing to this other side. Turn it. Right? So then, finish our hemming. Continue from here. Instead of starting from the beginning of this shirt, we start from here. And be careful the way I kept it, you see. The way I kept it. This line should not be showing outside. See? It should be showing inside this line here. So, we finished hemming our shirt. Now let's press it with iron and see what we have here. Let's start here. So, this is our shirt we have here. What we're going to do now is to fold the neck. The neck, so you see, our neck is going to be. Two. We're going to turn our neck. To measure four inches from the beginning point. So we're going to turn it here. Four inches. See, we use our iron to press it. Four inches. Something to this side. Second part as well. See, use four inches. This is four inches. See, use four inches. See, four inches. Four inches.
hope you are with me. You are following. And you are watching. easy and simple it is to make a vintage shirt this is our neck right here you can see how easy and simple it is to make a vintage shirt So, remember when we were sewing this shirt, I said we should fold this in here by half inch so we will so remember when we were so when I said you should fold this here by half inch right this so we're going to take it this way you see and we'll hem it here the hemming gun simple as that same for the other side as well As for this part folded inside, buttons will take care of that and button holes it will hold it together. If you want, you can use a little of hemming gum just to hold it together at one point. So we just put a little gum inside to hold it together. So with this we have finished our vintage shirt please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on because i'll be bringing 
more and more interesting lectures your way thank you so much for being there thank you for watching this video thank you so much and check my channel there are lots of videos there watch them remember to like to comment and um, most importantly subscribe subscribe and subscribe thank you so much thank you